Good afternoon, this is Dr. Ken Long from Tortoise Capital Management, and I'd like to make a short presentation to you about systems thinking, what we mean by that, and the payoff for traders. I want to put that in the context of thinking about the complex system composed of self, systems, and market. Each one of those is a complex system in, in and of itself, and the act of getting them aligned so that you can find your sweet spot so that you can trade systems that fit within a particular market type and follow those rules effectively, that's really a meta system. And your task as a trader is to get aligned uh, between all three of those systems. And so I want to explore each of those three areas in the systems thinking workshop. And here's an overview of what we're going to be talking about. We can think of ourselves, first of all, as independent actors, as agents who are attempting to achieve results as a result of our intentional behavior in the markets. We can think of those results as a system uh, that is connecting our purpose, the values that we have with our passion for action, our beliefs and thoughts, our actions and behavior, filtered through the markets, filtered through our systems, and generating results. By adopting a systems thinking orientation, there are ways that we can check for alignment to ensure that we are consistent and focused and deliberate and intentional in our behaviors and our designs. We can think of our decision making as a system that is having to endure a network of biases. There's all sorts of cognitive biases that are out there that we've inherited because of this evolutionary brain. Uh, and uh, we've got to find ways to recognize, account for, offset, mitigate, and sometimes even leverage these cognitive biases that we've inherited. So when we look at our thinking as a system, as a subsystem of our overall trading process, there are improvements that we can make by approaching it in that fashion. By the same token, we might also consider the psychological system that's going on inside our head. And by adopting a business-like model, we can identify different parts of our psyche and our emotions and see how each one contributes to the overall performance of ourselves as a trader. In a previous video, I've made the case for adaptive systems in swing trading to show how we can design systems uh, in, and indicators in such a way as to better align them with markets, especially when they're chaotic. And in that video, I described how we developed and then applied uh, just one of these uh, adaptive measures, in this case, the um, slope of the 30 period regression line, and showed how we were able to improve our systems performance by thinking about the relationship between the market and the systems in a systematic way. Taken more generally, we might look at the market as a complex adaptive system itself, one that goes beyond our ability to calculate and compute and contain. Our rule sets are simple approximations of how we think the market might work under certain circumstances. But because it's an open system, and has dynamic feedback loops, it cannot be contained in any single description. And so the relationship between the market and our systems takes the form of strategies. We can think about having strategies that approach the market under certain conditions and establish processes for stalking, for entering, for managing the trade, for exiting, and then resuming our stalking so that we can ensure that our strategies are approximately aligned with the market as it goes through its seasons. We might further refine those strategies into specific systems that can be robo-traded or traded with pseudocode that offer precise definitions of the behaviors that we believe give us an advantage. We might develop those systems using techniques or processes that have been refined and which can be uh, used across many different systems and they're thereby refining our professional approach uh, with a tool set that we know how to use and that we can leverage to our advantage. Along the way, we might gather tips about insights into the market that give us even more edge 
when certain circumstances or conditions arise. So if we look at our stance with respect to the market as a system of strategy, systems, techniques, and tips, we can improve the way we triangulate ourself, our systems, and the market. We might further look at the market as a system that has certain behavior characteristics according to a market classification scheme. Here you see the way that we describe the market in one of our techniques into bull, sideways, or bear, and then also volatile, normal, and quiet. And th by analysis and statistics, we've determined that in this certain strategy for classifying the market, it's favorable to be in the market during the day and overnight when the market is in any bull condition or sideways quiet, that there's no advantage day over day in these sideways volatile and sideways normal, and there's a disadvantage to being in the market on the long side during any kind of bear. By tuning those definitions and seeing how each of our systems performs in each of those nine categories, we can further refine our strategies and ensure that we're using just those systems that are optimized for that type of market condition. If we look at ourselves as traders in a daily process of trying to uh, extract R from the markets, uh, we can review the way that we prepare ourselves as a system. And here's an example of a worksheet that we use to plan, prepare, and execute our daily trading plan. We look through uh, a series of signal generators that include certain patterns, certain styles, continuation patterns. We take a look at components of the market condition and the sectors, and we use that to develop signals that we then take into a preparation phase and we define very carefully our initial entries and initial stops and our targets and the reward to risk multiples that are available in that market trade frame. In that frame we develop then this spreadsheet of preparation that allows us to go into execution mode and the combination of our trade frames, uh, our respect for pivots, the time of day or week that we're engaged in allow us to be on the right side of the market as the day and the week develop. It allows us to pick the sectors that we want to um, trade because we have an advantage in that particular sector, for instance, and then drill down further into stocks that are outperforming their sector, which may be outperforming the market. And so by looking at our trading plan development as a system, using plan, prepare, execute, and then assess the results, we can improve the way in which we prepare ourselves for each and every day in the market. And so in our basic swing course, uh, we talk about uh, our focus on particular systems because that's attractive to folks who are looking for precise mechanical entries. But by expanding our view of self, system, and market using this systems thinking approach, we discovered that there are many different ways in which we can improve our trading process by looking higher at strategies and lower at refined techniques and tips. We can take a look at how the market systems and self interact on a global basis and on a detailed preparation basis. And these are the ways in which we propose to uh, develop our skills even further in the systems thinking workshop uh, that will be kicking off with the um, Van Tharp Institute. So we're looking forward to engaging with you on this uh, advanced set of strategies and attitudes and perspectives about how to approach the market as a trader from a systems thinking perspective. And we look forward to developing uh, our techniques with you together. So thanks for your kind attention. Keep your wrist measured and your powder dry. This is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital. Good trading.